here. Make sure it's recording. Yep. Sean here with a 2001 Harley Davidson Ultra Classic. Ultra Classic Electric Glide. It's got the speakers in the back. Let's uh do a little. Oh, this also has a uh, SNS top end. So the top end of this motor is an is an SNS. Um, and that was put. That was probably put together about maybe. 20 thirty thousand miles ago bikes in incredibly good shape and it has a hundred and eleven thousand miles it's got Reinhardt's pipes I mean this thing is maintained incredibly well very very clean always garage kept it's got a lot of metal flake in that color let's let's take it for a spin this thing fire no look okay right I'm touching the exhaust okay it's not it's not warmed up Listen to how good this SNS motor fires up. Bam. Fires up. It's idling good already. Brakes feel real nice and tight. got some power this thing's a screamer this thing moves this is pushing way way more power than the uh, than a stock stock ultra I'm pretty impressed with this uh, SNS top end Clutch feels real nice and tight. Fuel gauge works, voltage gauge looks good, oil pressure looks good, air temperature pressure looks good. For a bike with 111,000 miles, man this thing feels, this is great. It's so nice looking. I mean obviously it doesn't, you know, the, the main components don't have 111,000 miles. Look at that. This thing is quick. I mean, it's no sport bike, but... This is faster than... I may have only ever ridden one... One touring bike that was faster than this. And that was a... Uh, I just sold it. It was a uh, Road Glide with a 113 engine in it. This thing moves. This thing feels faster than the uh, the 110 CVO engine. It's nice. It handles good. It's got a real stiff seat. Some people might like that. I'm not sure how I feel about it. You see he's got the um, the street glide, the street glide mirrors, that's real cool, that's a cool, uh, that's a cool feature that he added on there, I think it looks way better than the stock, stock mirrors and, and they work very good too. Let's try the radio. Oh, uh, the little, uh, the little radio button, you see it? That, the button is not on there. That, this little piece just kind of popped off. You can still use it, but the actual button's not on there. Whoa, show you one hell of a night. All right, the radio sounds good. Bike's a screamer. I like.
like this bike. They really took good care of this thing. A little bit, a little bit of sun faded here. No sun fading over here. Transmission feels really smooth, really tight. Brakes are, shoot, these brakes are bled like I like to bleed my um. My track bike. I mean, these things are tight. Let's see if, uh, let's get on it a little bit. This, is, this thing's fast. This SNS motor is a beast. And it's uh it's carbureted, but I didn't choke it. I didn't have to choke it. A, a, a cold star, it's like 60 degrees, you know what I mean? But the thing just fired right up. That's that's amazing. This thing's tuned very, very well. Radio sounds good, it's got this thing has CV, this thing has like CVO power. Very impressed with this SNS motor. My only experience with SNS motors were on older bikes and you needed like decompression switches on the heads to start it. And you needed like some type of ritual to get the thing to run right. But that was old stuff and it probably wasn't tuned right. This thing, some guy spent a lot of money uh, rebuilding this engine and this feels awesome the exact paperwork of when they did this engine rebuild I know a lot of these guys don't run the stock engine up to a hundred thousand miles or more um, so I don't actually know but I'll tell you this it's I don't see any leak I don't see anything leaking and this bike runs great this thing I mean it, it just you got great power but you know, it didn't look like you lose any reliability of it. It fires right up. It fires up better than some of the new Harleys do. Everything about it feels real tight. to go about getting a bike that had 111,000 miles on it but after riding it man this thing feels great and it looks great like I said in my last video I saw I saw a lot of Harleys and none of my ultras or electric light classics ever leak oil. 
all the ones that leak are the are the Dynas and the soft tails. And they use the same engine. The reason that the reason I think that is because guys that ride these bikes, the Electroglides and the Ultras and stuff like that, they get it fixed. They're maintaining these bikes extremely. I mean, you got look at they. This bike was a twenty-five thousand dollar bike when it was brand new. You know, so you buy it, you're gonna maintain it, you're gonna put money into it. This guy rode this bike. I mean, he probably he probably spent around ten thousand dollars. Putting that, doing the uh, that SNS top end. That's no joke. What a good ride. If you're looking for a bike to really impress your friends, <laughs> maybe all your buddies have uh, CVOs or something like that. You 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 come out with this thing. Very impressive. All right, guys, check out the other uh, walk around video.